Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I am an employment attorney and normally on this channel I answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users getting folks the answer they need from an employment attorney. But I'm pretty busy today so we're gonna phone it in. We've got story time. Uh, I jotted down some notes from my story because I thought it was really funny. I don't know if you're gonna agree but that's kind of the beauty of being me because this is, you know, free. If you don't like it, don't watch. Uh, so recently I had a couple of buddies who were thinking about getting married uh, to each other, to be clear. And I talked to them at some length about, you know, the laws governing marriage. Uh, this was in New York and how onerous the marriage laws could be and like the beauty of domestic partnership and how wonderful that might be. And uh, they made some really good points. They were like, well, yeah, but you know, we fought for the right to get married and, you know, equality. Uh, to which I responded, you would just be equally stupid if you submitted yourself to those laws. Those are bad laws. Those are not laws meant for 2023. Those are laws meant for 1920 at best, right? Uh, <laughs> of course, this was a fun conversation. I know lots of people are married or very happy being married. I'm not saying marriage is horrible. I'm just saying I don't like the laws that govern uh, traditional marriage uh, in most jurisdictions and um, we had some fun with it a fun conversation and they actually ended up deciding they're gonna go with a domestic partnership so that was super cool super happy for them and they threw a rather extravagant uh, domestic partnership dinner it was fantastic um, traveled down for it well worth the trip food was delightful rooms were radiant it was it was very nice and then um, for some reason they sat me at a table of um, uh, lack of a lack of a better term uh, middle-aged women middle-aged um, New York women and uh, we're kind of you know chitty chatting this that whatever we're talking and you know I, I like reality TV uh, as much as the next guy, I like to watch uh, the History Channel's Alone series, where people survive with like 10 tools in like northern Canada. It's, you know, it's fun, stupid, fun, like, uh, you know, um, it's a good time. But very rapidly, I realized that all of the conversations at my table would be about uh, Bravo based reality television shows. Um, and all of those conversations will be taking place in uh, in Bravo speak, or as I like to call it, the language of Bravisi. And Bravisi is a fascinating tongue. Um, example, someone had a show dog, and the show dog was like being held, because it's New York, so of course people bring their dog to restaurants, and then like don't train their dog or whatever. Um, and uh, the dog was just kind of like leaning over and like like eating stuff off the table because the owner was, of course, I presume, shit-faced. And uh, one of the um, Bravisi speakers turned to me and said, um, actually, didn't even say, just said to the table, frankly, definitely not addressing me, uh, that dog is a savage. I didn't... I didn't know that was a key slang term in Bravisi. So I said, oh, I think it's a show dog, actually. Like, I think it's won ribbons and stuff. Everyone just stared at me. <laughs> I clearly don't speak Bravisi. Um, later on, uh, mutual acquaintance was brought up. And a different Bravisi speaker said, you know, mutual acquaintance, blah, 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 is iconic. I'm pretty close with that impression. Like, I am pretty close. I gotta tell you. Like, it was interesting. And the entire night proceeded this way. Like, everything was in easy, right? Um, eventually, conversation turned to uh, the topic of Taylor Swift and her, I guess, much sought after concert tickets. And 
there was a lot of bitterness around this topic. Apparently, it was felt that um, Los Angeles, LA, had gotten an unfair number of shows. Apparently, LA had gotten six shows. And uh, these people, these Bravisi speakers, were incensed because the LA shows had not sold out as quickly as they felt they should have out of respect to Taylor Swift, Miss Miss Swift, the talented pop person. Um, even that might be uh, controversial. I don't know if you're allowed to say that Taylor Swift is, is pop music. I mean, to me, that's clear cut. I, I actually didn't really know that people listen to pop music anymore. I thought the radio was kind of dead. I thought people just listened to like what they like now, but apparently pop music is alive and well. Um, so they were very upset that LA had gotten six shows, which was more than I think New York, maybe, I think was my understanding. And uh, I tried to like be part of the conversation. I was like, oh, well, I think maybe she might live in LA. That might be why she did six shows there. That was not the correct, it was not the correct thing to say. Um, I was urged, <laughs> urged to zip it. Uh, nicely, nicely, politely. <laughs> but a little, a little notion of, hey, if you don't know, don't talk. Which is fair, which is fair. I've, I've, I've felt that on topics before. And I don't know where Taylor Swift lives. I just was trying to interject. And it was stupid. It was stupid to say something I didn't know. <laughs> and uh, the domestic partnership dinner was delightful. Um, I fully went into power save mode. Like I just turned off and sat and like didn't engage <laughs> because I don't speak for easy or like have depth of knowledge about Taylor Swift so I was like I should just politely nod uh, on autopilot for the rest of this event um, yeah I did not know um, I did not know that Brevisi was a thing I did not know that this was like a cultural subgroup of human beings um, or like a mode of communication. It was a fascinating, eye-opening experience. They seem to be having a lot of fun. I'm not mocking them. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely mocking the, the way things were said, but like, you can't knock them for having fun. Clearly, they're enjoying it. And that's reason enough, you know? Like, if you're having fun, and this is how you have fun, if you, if you get a kick out of being like, I kind of... Who am I to say that you shouldn't have fun? <laughs> like that doesn't, I don't. That that might also be a useful strategy for like ingratiating yourself to people who have interest in the other, in, the, in the same things, right? That might be like a middle ground. That might be like a a key word where somebody's like, oh, you get it, you get it. We probably have some stuff in common. Like that that might be what's going on. Um, clearly, I did not have things in common, or like conversational middle ground with these people. Um, it was uh, fascinating from like a anthropological stance of just like, oh, I've stumbled upon a new subculture group within our society <laughs> that I had never even imagined could exist. Um, that was fun. It was fun. The video is nine minutes. I don't know if that was a funny story. It was really funny to me. <laughs> it was like a funny like humorous night um and those people had a great time like i'm not like oh those stupid people blah, 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 blah. No, no no they had a lot of fun i just didn't know how to talk to them um i was just worlds away like in terms of my ability to like have common conversational ground there just was no there was no bridge that i could fashion to get where i needed to get to be part of that conversation <laughs> although perhaps the accusation would be that I'm not the best bridge builder, which there, both figuratively and literally, I suspect I'm a bit of a failure when it comes to bridge building. In any case, hope you're all having a great week. Sorry for phoning it in today. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Don't be a 
Savage. <laughs>